Hey guys, it's Video Tech Dude, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a video to YouTube and edit it in the YouTube editor a little bit too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the YouTube homepage. You're going to have to be logged in, and then we're going to go to upload. And now what we're going to do is we're going to find the video we want. Mine's just on the desktop here. And I'm just going to drag it over here and drop it right on there. All right, now you want to title your video with something clever, so I'm going to do that. Okay, let's just spell correct that. Okay, and so then you want to put in your description a lot of stuff. The more stuff you put in the description, the more likely people will see it and the more views you will get. So I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Um, and then here's the tags here and there's suggested tags here and the tags are just stuff kind of like the, what I was saying with the description. The more tags, the more views pretty much. And so you can just put in whatever you want, like toast or something like that, or bread. I don't know. Maybe I'm hungry. I, I don't know. But and then here there's four options. There's public, unlisted, private, and scheduled. Scheduled. Um, the unlisted is only people with the link to the video can see it, but other people like who search for it can't. Private is only people on this list can view the video and public is anybody can see the video and there's this add a message to your video part and that's just like put in a message you can click these social media things right here and that will send out the message to those two social media uh, programs so um, right here we have a custom thumbnail this is not enabled by default but I'll have in the description how to enable that um, it's a video and so yeah that's pretty much this area and I'll be back when the video is done uploading okay so now we have our test video here that I uploaded and you can see our has five views from myself and so um, there's comments area and everything but what you want to do if you want to upload I mean edit it um, is you can go to the upload button right here you click on it and then you go to video editor here push edit and then you find your video here this is my test video right here drag it down onto the timeline right here hey. and you can see it's right here and so you can drag audio right here and that's like where you can go up here hey got to disable that um you can go right here and to this little musical note and here's a bunch of music that YouTube gives you to use in your YouTube videos. And so you can see all the different genres and everything. I'm just going to choose like this classical one right here. I'm going to put it down. Oops. Got to put it in the right way. There we go. Um, and then we can resize the length of the song to match our video like that. And also, if you want to split the video in half or wherever you want to take something out of, you can just push split right there, and then it'll become two, two pieces. And then if you want to take out this little part, you can push split again, and then just delete the middle part. And then that'll make a quick edit. You can see right here. See it jumps a little bit, and that's how to take out parts that you don't really want in your video. And this can be useful at times, but I don't really suggest using the YouTube editor just because you're limited to what you can do. But like with the text, you can put in text, but you can't say where you want it to be, which I think is kind of annoying feature. But, you know, they still want to include all they can in the editor, which I understand. And you can add images from your computer here. Here's, or here's like stuff and then there's upload fo photos you can select photos and I can just do this one if I want this is the uh, the thumbnail I'm using for my current video and but you can see it's pretty low resolution but it can be because it's only being displayed I like the size of a thumbnail maybe a little bit bigger but 
whatever. Um, and then you can go to, you can name your video right here. You can name it like custom video. I should just making it unique, but you can do whatever you want to do. You know, you can push create video. It's processing that video and it will be unlisted right here, but you can just click on that and then change it to public right there. Push save. I'm not going to do that, but push save and then anybody will be able to find your video on YouTube, which I think is super cool. And that is pretty much the video manager. Since we have some extra time, we can go to um, my previous video, like the one unedited version. And then we can go right here and then there'll be um, enhancements you can do enhancements on it like color fixes and stuff it shows you the before and after and then there's a stabilize feature look at that right there I mean that's pretty cool um, it's a big difference and this is pretty cool I think so yeah then there's audio I already showed you audio but annotations is you probably see annotations all the time and you just push an add annotation and then you can drag it over here wherever you want in your video then you can drag this to skip to that point of your video and then you can see there this pops up and you can put whatever you want in it like that and then you can make a link to different areas like all this stuff here which I think is cool and that's how people will be like subscribe like I will do at the end of this video and so I mean that's pretty much it and uploading a YouTube video isn't that hard although it can be hard at sometimes but yeah also one last thing formatting tags now this will be in the link in the description to formatting tags um, if your video is a square and there's black bars on the side all you have to do is copy this one zoom in to a 19 16 by 9 area removes window boxing that's the little black bars window boxing and we can go back and you can see in this video I have it in my tags I'm pretty sure okay I don't because it's because some video but if your video is square you input this into this little tags area and it does work and I think it's one of the most useful things YouTube has to offer to YouTube creators because sometimes your videos just don't turn out as you think they did also if you're if you just uploaded your video and it just got done processing then and you go to it and you go to quality settings and it's only like 240p and there's nothing higher but you know you recorded in a higher HD definition don't worry just come back in a little bit and there will be more options most likely because you, even though it says it's done processing it's really not and also what processing is is it's creating a single video for each one of these resolutions so when somebody changes to that resolution it changes to that resolution of video so I just thought that'd be a cool thing for you guys to know and that's pretty much all we have for this video thanks for watching the video please leave a like and a comment in the comment area where you comment and also just have a great day i'll see you later thanks for watching bye